is adding their own little wrinkle to some of the world's most iconic works of art. Their parodies on the likes of Van Gogh and Picasso have even earned them an invite to the Dali Museum. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd made a visit to their studio. Well, Ken and Kim Snyder may be the artists behind this new book, There's a Goose in My Bed, but they'll be the first to tell you the star of the book is this rascal right here, Artsy the Goose. Ken Snyder was a high school art teacher in New York for 32 years before retiring to Bradenton. There are a lot of other things that I probably could have done with my life, but <clears throat> I don't know if they'd be as rewarding as teaching. I loved it. I loved the kids. His favorite student would have to be his own daughter, Kim, who is a professional face painter. Some of my greatest moments are when my dad has come to watch me paint at Renaissance fairs and he's fascinated I am. watching me paint. I am. So She's ambidextrous too, <laughs> either hand. But Kim thought she might lose her dad in 2018 when he was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. I just kept thinking good thoughts and did my best. Ken was able to beat the disease just in time to welcome a pandemic. That's when he decided to collaborate with his favorite pupil. The name of the book is uh, There's a Goose in My Bed, and it's about <clears throat> a, a time-traveling goose who visits very famous artists, painters throughout history. From American Gothic to Whistler's mother, you never know where Artsy is going to turn up next. One of the pages even caught the attention of the Salvador Dali Museum. Artsy has somehow finagled himself to get into the picture. The museum is now selling the book in the gift shop, where Ken and Kim will be doing a book signing this Sunday. It's one of the best things that's ever happened to me in my artistic career. And I think for my dad too, right? And it's Absolutely. Just, it's a highlight. In Bradenton, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News. Oh, that's awesome. A little family affair. Yeah. Great work there. All right, meteorologist Shay Ryan mm -hmm. joins us now. Shay, uh, for all the people who are visiting out of town, they are like, this is why people move here. This is the mm -hmm. problem. This week is the problem. Right. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. Take a look at the Mainsail Beach Inn on Anna Maria Island. Yeah, if this doesn't convince you to move to Florida, I, you know, it's hard to Guess what would? I mean, it's just beautiful out there. We've got a lot of sunshine, clear skies. Now, one thing that's going to happen along our coastline, especially the farther